Hey guys, great news. There's been a big update to Insta360 Studio 2021. It's the biggest update since as far as I can remember. So here are seven of my favorite features. Number one, a more intuitive interface. Insta360 has been listening to your feedback and they've totally revamped the interface to make it look more modern and fresh and definitely easier. Two, you can now create multiple versions of the same file. Sometimes I just want to create more than one version of a video. So after creating a video, I have to delete everything, all my changes, and then create a new project. Well, not anymore. With this version, you can create multiple versions of the same file. And it's not just going to copy your file and waste your hard drive space. It's actually going to create separate project files, each one that you can go back to any time. Here's my other favorite feature. It's been a long time coming. You can now add a name or even add notes to your files. And yes, you can make one for each version of your file. Number four, auto import. And I don't mean Toyota. So when you connect your Insta360 camera to your PC or Mac, Insta360 Studio is going to detect it automatically and offer to import your files into the studio. Next, thumbnail preview for video files. Now you can hover your mouse over the thumbnail of a video and as you move your mouse to the right, it's like scrubbing through the video so you can quickly survey its contents. Number six, the export queue. Now when you're ready to render a file, you don't have to render it right away. Instead, you can just put it on a queue. This will keep your PC more responsive and let you continue working on other files. Then when you're done, you can render the whole queue at the same time while you take a break. And number seven, Apple M1 support. So if you have one of those new Macs with a new M1 chip, Insta360 Studio will be able to render things faster and you can show your PC friends just how much better a Mac is. Huh, what? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Macs are better. Now if you want to learn how to use the new Insta360 Studio, stay tuned because I'm going to have a series of tutorials for beginners, intermediate, and advanced users. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in 360.